thanks and welcome to today's vlog. I had planned to start today's vlog on the train because I'm heading down to London for the Big Potato Games birthday party. It's their fifth birthday. Disclosure, as ever, in videos like this, um, we are brand ambassadors for Big Potato Games, so they're not paying us for this video, but they do send us free stuff and they are we are doing a branded video of them in a few weeks time, so um, yeah, disclosure stuff out of the way. I was planning on starting the video on the train, but a couple of things to show you before I go. Firstly, this is the, uh, just covering up the name of Andy's school, this is the, the thing that we made on yesterday's video. If you didn't see this, you should go back and watch that. It was awesome, um, but it is now all laminated, ready to, uh, ready to show him when he gets home from school, which is awesome. We'll have more news on that in tomorrow's video. But the thing I really wanted to show you is this envelope, because this envelope contains a letter and some metal um, but I just wanted to read the letter to you. I haven't read the letter myself yet but I just wanted to I'm going to read it out loud. Hi Kevin it's from the National Autistic Society by the way. Hi Kevin congratulations well done on completing the Jungle Run 2019 for the National Autistic Society. Thank you for choosing to take part in this challenge. As a team you've collectively raised over £3,608.79p. How awesome is that? Um, you've helped us reach this phenomenal total by raising £1,827.25p and this amount will help transform lives blah 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 blah. blah. What I'm getting out of that is the National Autistic Society Jungle Run campaign as a whole raised £3,600, this whole national charity. We raised £1,800 of that. We, rate, we contributed half of their total fundraising. Our little community here on YouTube, anyone who was a part of that, you are an absolute bunch of legends. Um, we got a certificate as well. You are amazing. The Chapman family has raised a fantastic £1,827.25p for the National Autistic Society by taking part in the Jungle Run 2019. We raised more money than anybody else who took part. And we've been sent some medals as well, which, hold on, let's have a little look. We have medals with the little logo on there. We can put these on. Dave, there's one here for you as well, because you did you did it, yeah. Well, there's one for all five of us, but the girls didn't do it, so as far as I'm concerned, this is uh, this is one for each of us. Here you go, there's one for Anna as well, one for Andy. Dave absolutely is getting one, because Dave did the jungle run. Um, and then we have this last one, which I think we should send to Stephanie, who took a lot of hassle for the donation she made that she didn't deserve. I think she deserves to have a medal. So Stephanie, you've got my email address. Fire me a quick email. Let me know where I can send this to and uh, you can have your medal as well because you absolutely deserve it. But thank you very much to the National Autistic Society for sending us some goodies. But more importantly, thank you to anybody who got involved in the Jungle Run campaign, whether it was through making a donation yourself, through sharing the videos, sharing the donation link, even just watching the videos, it all helped to raise awareness for what has raised a significant chunk of money for a charity that's obviously very close to all our hearts. Thank you very much. The next time you see me, I should be all polished up and on a train. There you go, I've made a liar of past Kev. I'm already off the train. I'm heading this way. So normally on a trip like this, this is the point where I tell you what to expect from the rest of the video. But today, I have absolutely no idea. I don't even really know how welcome the camera is going to be in there. This could be a really, really super short bit of the vlog where we're actually down in London. To give you the general gist, Big Potato Games, you know who they are. They send us lots of awesome games. You've seen them on the channel lots before, if you've ever been here before, but it's their fifth birthday as a company. We're brand ambassadors. We were all invited down, but obviously it's a Wednesday night in the centre of London for a party that doesn't finish until nearly midnight. There wasn't really any realistic way for Andy or Amy to come because Andy had to stay at home, Anna had to stay at home. We were hoping Lucy would be able to join me, but then as soon as she got her timetable from uni on Monday and realised she was in, nine till five every single day this week and then straight into centre parks at the weekend it became pretty clear that rushing down here for a 6.30 start straight from uni although doable was probably a bad idea because she is already starting to feel pretty tired from the week that she's had so far um, so I'm about an hour early as is always the way when I come and do stuff like this so I'm in vaguely the right area I know usually when we come down here I'm over the other side of the water we're normally over there 
I'm told where I'm supposed to be is over this side today. I haven't looked at it on a map yet. I was just told nearest tube station is London Bridge. I've just come out of London Bridge tube station probably in the next half hour or so. I'll try and get a rough idea of where the actual place is and start trying to find it. But I'm fairly keen not to be the first to walk in, especially because I'm coming without plus one. I don't want to walk in on my own and there'll be nobody to talk to. One other very important piece of news from the journey down, I have now had my first Starbucks pumpkin spice latte of the autumn season. You know I've been banging the Costa bonfire spice drum pretty hard. It's not a sponsorship. I just really like it. If Costa want to come on board and sponsor me for autumn, I'm, I'm okay with that as long as you're okay with me switching back to Starbucks as soon as the bonfire spice disappears. But uh, yeah, I've had my first pumpkin spice latte of the year because there's no Costa at Peterborough Station. It doesn't, cut, it doesn't even compare. Costa wins autumn, Starbucks wins the rest of the year. That's official coffee news from Kev. Right, I am gonna, I wanna mooch around for a bit, see if there's anything exciting going on and then try and find where this party is. Just had a quick look on a map. This place is somewhere I've been before. Well, pretty much where we've been before. If you remember a couple of years ago, we did an Airbnb just around here and we went to the breakfast club over this part of town one morning. It looks like the place where this party is, is like three or four doors on from breakfast club. So I'm gonna head down that way now, check it is where I think it is, and then find somewhere to hide so that I can be late because I'm socially inept. I have nothing to say, stood just here really. I just came around the corner and thought that shop was quite cool. Can you even see it? Or do I need to adjust the light levels? The shards there. Editing careful note, if you could actually see it, I might just spin the camera around and point it at it without my beautiful face in it. in there you've been able to hear. So to summarise, massive game of colour brain, which my team won, despite my colour blindness. I'd like to think because of my colour blindness, we'll also play some Obama Lama 2, which is a game we have at home, but we never actually played because it, the rules seemed confusing, but now I've actually had it explained to me and played it. That's something I definitely think I think we'll take that away or us this weekend it looks like something we can have a lot of fun with as a big group. But lots of fun in there. Lots of lollipops, lots of sweets, party food, party hats. It's about nine o'clock. I'm under the uh, train bridge. We're pretty much next to London Bridge Station if we go just up there and that way. You see the shard. But um, yeah, having lots of fun. Now to go back in and make it so you can't hear me talking again. We're just setting up down there for the biggest game of 20 second showdown in the history of the world. We've 
played this at NGPX back in July and it was hectic with about 10 or 12 people playing. Then there's the 30 or 40 people down there switching three teams. This is going to be interesting. And that's me done at the party. Had an awesome time. I am leaving slightly early as I almost always do at parties because we've all been to parties. We know they all reach a certain point where if you're not drinking, <laughs> you're not really involved in the loud drinking shenanigans but Anna has given me an idea for a task to keep me amused in the hour and a half I've got before my train that I've already got booked because we've got the Centre Parks trip coming up at the weekend we've booked barbecues for the Friday I'm very close to our favourite barbecue restaurant Bodine's they occasionally have a fridge full of meats and things that you can take away and cook yourself so I'm now going to walk down to Bodine's see if I can get some cook at home meats and uh, go back on the tube with a bunch of meat in a bag because why not? Or I could go on a ghost bus tour. Well I've made it to Bodine's we just need to cross our fingers and hope they still do the cook at home stuff. Boys and girls we will call that a roaring success. Two big bags of wings, a bottle of sauce to smother them in this is going to be the greatest barbecue in the history of Centre Park's Sherwood Forest. <laughs> I'm so excited now. Anna is going to be over the moon. Plus, it killed the last little bit of extra time I had. By the time I'm back to King's Cross now, the, uh, the train will be ready to leave in about 20 minutes, which gives me just enough time to grab a coffee. This couldn't have been timed more perfectly. Well, I'm back in Peterborough. My train was delayed on the way home in the end, so it's 20 to 1 in the morning for a party I left just after 10 p.m. and a train ride that's supposed to be 45 minutes, but it's absolutely worth it because I got my chicken wings and sauce, and you'll see us eating them in Saturday's vlog. But I should probably end this one here because I need to go home and go to bed because I'm very tired. So if you have enjoyed this video, Please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. We can't see me over here. There we go. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. Thank you very much for watching.